Epic in Minecraft style. It's like a whole other world. Oh yeah, so funny. Style. They're learning and they don't even know it. It may be holidays, but these kids are heading back to school and they couldn't be happier. Learning to death. Oh my God, this is... This is Minecraft Camp. My name's Sean Firth and I've been running Minecraft Camps for about two years now. It's a one-day camp for kids who love the video game and there's plenty of them. Minecraft's just six years old, but it's already the third best-selling video game of all time. Minecraft as, as a game for kids has just taken off phenomenally. The idea of Minecraft is to build, explore, earn money and defend against zombies in a 3D block world. You get to work with people and build amazing things. You can build lots of different things and make friends. What some of these kids can do will blow your mind. It blows my mind all the time. As a former teacher and principal, Sean believes Minecraft can be an amazing teaching tool. A new research from Queensland's University of Technology has found teachers can use it in maths, art and geography. They're problem solving, they're thinking critically, they're working together, they are, they're just developing all those kind of skills, which are the skills that are needed in the real world. It's so fun that you don't even realise that you're being taught. 12-year-old Aaron Crawley is so good he's been appointed as a camp coach and helps teach the other kids. It means a lot to me because people look up to you and then you can, can, and it makes you feel good. This is Aaron's second Minecraft camp and it won't be his last. It's so much fun, you meet new people and then you can play on the server whenever you like with those people. Well, the idea that a controlled environment is being provided for the kids to play on I think is a better idea than just letting them free on any, any Minecraft server. Dad of three, Sean Fitzgerald, likes that the camp provides an exclusive, safe server for kids to play on, even when they've gone home. I guess as a parent, knowing how your kids play online is pretty important these days. While Sean's happy for his kids to get creative online, he doesn't give them free reign. We have to restrict them, though, as to how much time they do spend on it. The large majority of children who do play online games will do so without causing any problems, and it's just another normal part of, of a day. Dr Celia Wilkinson is an addiction expert from Edith Cowan University. She says although most kids will be fine, about one in ten kids can develop an addiction to online gaming, and there are telltale signs. Inordinate amounts of time, preoccupation and, and the child sort of disengaging from other sorts of things could be indications that there is something going on. But Dr Wilkinson says it's important parents aren't alarmist and talk things through with their child. The important thing is about um, having balance in a child's life. There needs to be um, outside play for sure, but we're in a brave new world of technology and it's not going away and we need to prepare kids for that. And when the kids are online, Sean reckons it's best for them to play a game where they're learning and working together. It's about the kids working together and collaborating and helping, helping each other. Dig in Minecraft style.